So our story begins with a couple. They're not like any ordinary couple. They're an influencer couple. And I'm talking travel influencers. More specifically, they are travel influencers who are famous for being daredevils and adrenaline junkies. They've swarm with sharks. They've hiked Mount Everest. Anything that you can think of that's super scary, they've probably done it. And of course, they've recorded it. <laughs> We meet them at a point where their career is like taking off and they're like the next big thing on the internet until six months later, their views start dropping. And within that panic, they decide that the one thing that could for sure bring their career back or get them fame and clout again would be to, of course, get married. And I'm talking a destination wedding in Iceland. Not only that, they promise their audience that they're going to live stream their entire wedding and also their honeymoon. The thing is, their honeymoon is not like every other couple's honeymoon because they are who they are. They're daredevils. So they're going to go with something big. I mean, of course, people get curious and their views start going up again. They become relevant and everyone's anticipating their wedding day. Wedding day comes, they have this beautiful winter wedding in Iceland, but everyone's still waiting for their honeymoon like they promised. So the wedding ends and they go over to the honeymoon location. The site is a restricted frozen over river that is rumored to have magical powers. Every night right before sunset, this river glows a beautiful bright twilight color. And whoever stands on the frozen river exactly at that time gets their one wish granted. So they set up their honeymoon bed in the middle of this frozen river. And of course, their cameras all around them, live streaming the entire thing. Their family is there, their friends are there. And then one stranger asks them, so what are you going to wish for? The guy goes, of course, we're going to wish for everlasting love because we love each other. And as he's talking, the wife has this mischievous grin across her face. And before he can finish, she stabs him in the back. Just when everyone's shocked and thinks he's dead, he opens his eyes. I think he comes back with supernatural powers, which means she's going to have to get someone to train her because I know for sure that he's going to be coming for her. I'm curious though, what do you guys think should happen next? <laughs>